name is Jamie Hitzkis and I'm Assistant Superintendent for Operations and Finance. And this is Mr. David Farmer and he is our Director of Transportation. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our Transportation Department and some upcoming changes for the 2017-2018 school year. And first, I would like to give you some of our current realities. Welcome! You are now on board one of our more than 100 buses that travel a collective 2 million miles per year. That's right, I said 2 million. And on any given day, we have more than 6,000 students who will be joining us as our guest. And, you know, it is one of those jobs that our superintendent says it is the only job in our school system where we say to our drivers, have a safe bus, have a clean bus, have a well, well-run bus, but turn your back on the students. And while that seems like it's a very daunting task, our drivers do it with excellence and efficiency. But we can do better. So we're, we're considering some changes for next year. Currently, our, our environment in the morning is a little bit of a challenge because we have all of our students on the same bus, elementary, middle, and high. And that creates a number of different challenges because, number one, when the bus gets to the school, you have middle and high school students disembarking and getting onto another bus, elementary students going into the school, and at any given point, it's a challenge for us. As you can see here, this is a video clip of our elementary students in a bus loading zone in the morning entering a building, as well as middle school and high school students transferring from one bus to another. This area for us is one of our biggest hazard areas and we want to pay close attention to a strong focus on safety. The number one instance of traffic accidents with our transportation departments across the nation for, for schools is in bus loading and unloading, unloading zones. So we are trying desperately to create a different environment. And Mr. Farmer will talk about that a little bit more. As Director of Transportation here at Jackson County School Systems, our number one priority is student safety. Every decision we make, everything that we do, hinges on the safety of our students. As Mr. Hiskus talked about earlier, some of the great and exciting changes that we're making in transportation is to keep our students safe on the buses and also at our schools in the bus loading and unloading zones. Beginning in August, we will present a new service delivery model. This will entail the dedication of dedicated routes for each grade band. So basically what we're doing is we're separating elementary, the middle, and the high school. Each grade band will have dedicated buses. So the interaction between the younger students and the older students will be eliminated. And also, as you saw in the clip earlier, the major congestion and areas of hazard for the congestion of transferring students from elementary buses to a middle or high school bus. The, also, the great thing about this is the elimination of the domino effect. The domino effect currently is to where we have drivers that are absent in the afternoon, so we have other drivers that cover their elementary route, therefore running a double route and then that makes them late to the middle and high school. So it will significantly reduce the domino effect. Combined with some minor adjustments to the beginning times and the ending times of schools, this plan will make it not only safe for our children, but also more efficient for the resources that we have available. Our number one goal in the transportation department is to ensure children's safety because we haul the world's most precious cargo, our children. Well, as you can tell, we've discussed a lot of different things and we do know that safety is our very first priority for your students, our students, and getting them to school in a reasonable amount of time is priority number one. We want to emphasize that these changes are door-to-door -door service and that some of our students get on the bus really early in the morning mm -hmm. and we're going to do our very best to get our pickup times as close to the start of school as we can. And 
you can look forward to having further um, information share with you as we get closer to the start of the year. So for now, we thank you from the Transportation Department and look forward to great travels. Thank you.